What's going on you guys, this is MXKDI, I have another Dell Optiplex 3020 small foam factor and I'm going to be replacing the power supply and show you guys how to do that. So what you're going to do is remove the side cover panel, there will be thumb screws, thumb screws right here. And what you have to do is, uh, you have to remove them. And you're going to slide the side cover panel to the left. And what you have to do is, uh, I'm gonna flip the computer the other side so we can remove the power, the screws for the power supply. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do is there'll be three screws, screws in the back, and you have to use a Phillips screwdriver. And uh, I'm gonna be replacing uh, with the same power supply. And this is a, uh, it's a 255 watt Dell power supply for the small foam factor Dell Optiplex 3020. So what you have to do is uh, you're gonna remove the three screws in the back. Here are the three screws now. All we have to do is uh, flip it the other side like this, and we have to uh, remove the optical drive, so you can disconnect the stadium power from the optical drive. A little curl clip right here, you take your finger, lift it, and the optical drive comes right out. And what you're going to do is uh, disconnect the little clip right here. So you're going to take your finger and you're going to, this little clip, you turn it, you're going to press to the left to release the secure lock for the hard drive cage. And you just disconnect the stadium power cable and your hard drive cage will come right out. Just take your lift it up like this and it comes right out. Now what we have to do is remove the fence shroud right here. And uh, you guys are gonna remove the the four pin right here for the power. There's a little clip right here. You see, if you can take your finger, and it comes right out like that. So what you're gonna do is uh, take your finger and you press on this clip right here to release the secure lock clip right there. And same with the eight pin right here. So you take uh, your finger right here and uh, you press on it to release the clip, secure clip like this. And uh, what we're gonna do is, there's a audio tape right here, so just take out the tape. And what we have to do is remove the plastic right here, the cover for the power supply, a little plastic cover, and remove the wires from it. And, and I'll show you guys what you have to do. There's a little clip right here. You take a screwdriver, you see right here the little clip, the blue one? It's right, the blue color, you have to press it down with the screwdriver to release the, the secure lock. It's a little clip, it holds the power supply. And you have to press it with the screwdriver, press it down to release the secure clip. Like this. You're going to press it down and it slides right out. Power supply. And you're going to move the PCI. Right here, the little bracket here. Clip, secure clip. And your power supply will come right out. And slides right out, really easy, just like that. So here's the power supply, and now I'm going to install a new one. You guys can order the same power supply online for the Dell Optiplex 3020 small foam factor. I just recommend using the same model from a Dell and just install a new one. Really easy in the slides. So, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna install back the four pin. For the power supply. Now we have to install back the eight pin here too. 
and I'm gonna lay it down. And install the A-pin right there. Now, what we have to do is, we're gonna install back the plastic right here. It's for the power supply right here. This is where the fan is at. So we install back the plastic, now you're going to put the wires back on a little clip right here. And what we're going to do is install back the hard drive cage. I'm going to lay this down. And there's going to be a little lines right here, little cut holes right here. This is where the, the hard drive cage is going to be installed properly. And you're going to connect the SATA and power cable to the hard drive. And install back the hard drive cage. And you're going to take this little secure clip and you're going to press, you're going to turn it to the right side to secure it, secure clip, to lock it. Now we're going to install back the fan shroud here, just for the processor cooler. And we're going to install back the optical drive. Connect the SATA and power cable. And what we have to do is a little bracket here. Just install it back and what we have to do is flip it to the other side so we can install back the screws here for the power supply. Be the last screw here install. And we're gonna flip it back over. And so we install the new power supply. Okay, so now I'll show you guys the this is the older one we're in here, it's back to exactly the same. So what you guys gonna do is uh, you're gonna put the side cover panel back on and we're done. And you can install back the thumb screws in the back, screwing back on here. So yeah guys, this is the end of the video. This is for the Dell Optiplex 3020 small phone factor. Thanks for watching. Bye.